Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays VR. A couple of days ago, I posted to the Oculus subreddit asking what people would suggest for newcomers to VR. What would be a good experience for VR? I got this game as a suggestion. It is VR Karts, and it was sold to me as Mario Kart in VR. And I can understand why the commenter put it that way. It definitely fits with the Mario Kart in VR. But let's hurry up and take a look at it. And here we are inside the main menu for VR Karts. And holy crap is it loud in my ears. This is the first time I'm playing with headphones and I have, of course, the headphones plugged directly into my computer. That's kind of stupid of me to do that, but mm, whatever. All right, so like I said, this is the main menu. And if we look down, we can see our controls. So fairly straightforward, it's designed for a 360 controller. And well, I've switched over to the 360 controller because my Steam controller's batteries died and I don't have spare double A's lying around. I keep them all at the office. Eh, stupid me, should have thought of that. Anyways, so let's take a look at this main menu here. You can tell I'm looking down a little bit because that's how you do a little test drive. It's just a quick race, so that's how you do that. Uh, there's a guy on a TV that was talking to me earlier. Um, it's actually smart enough to know where I'm looking. So when I start up, he'll actually say, hey, look at the TV, look at the TV. Is anybody there? That kind of thing. And if you don't look at the TV, he'll just keep talking like that. But then you look at the TV and it says, welcome to VR carts. And that's all he says. At least I'm fairly sure that's all he says. He hasn't said anything else since. Yeah, he hasn't said anything else. Over here with this little mini cart guy, there's supposed to be an interface. Hmm. I don't have anything right now. Is it going to make me go through the bloody tutorial again? Test drive. Press A button to join. Shit, it's going to make me go through the tutorial again. Oh, well, that's not a terrible, terrible thing. It'll get a good example of what it is. But first off, I like this. I kind of like this. Where if I look this way, it gives me the uh, configuration. So, like, down here we have the default controls, but I can change them by going through this. So, press a button for horn. Uh, let's do Y. Press a button to fire your weapon. I'm going to try A this time because the trigger button was screwing with me. Uh, speed boost, uh, left bumper, acceleration, right trigger, brake, left trigger, steer left, uh, thumbstick, steer right, thumbstick, quit menu, start, recenter view, back. And then we get the basic configuration name, which I can't, I can't, Apparently can change, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, I don't want to, um, no. Okay, I have no idea what the hell I just did. Um, so I can change my name, but that was put in by Steam. Uh, my default laps, I can change, which is pretty cool. Configure controller, which we just did, and volume settings, which is basically music volume and SFX volume. For my sanity, I'm turning that down a little bit. Um, all right, so there's that. Uh, I don't have access to the rest of the menu yet until I go through uh, the tutorial, the test drive here. So let's just hurry up and do that. Uh, don't forget to customize your driver and cart. Well, I can't. I tried to. I still have my red coat suit, so... Welcome to VR Carts 101. Let's start off simple. Complete one lap and... Shit. I can't. It already started. Whee! So, as you can see, it is basically Mario Kart in VR. Whee! And this is just a tutorial lap, basically. We're just going once around this course, which is very reminiscent of Mario Kart. Whee! It's 
Very pretty. I do like the art style. Always have. And I say always have because it's the same game art style as Mario Kart. I mean, who are we arguing? Who are we fooling here? Well done. This time you'll have a s you'll have some other carts to race against. Also, s God damn it. Wee. Hi. Whoa. Wasn't paying attention to the road. Stupid me. All right. So the blue things are speed boosts. You can use them to accelerate and drift around corners. So like this. Whee! Which is fun. I like that. That's a good mechanic. Whee! Um, the blue bar, whoop, down on the steering pad. That's slowly dropping right now. That's your boost bar. Uh, you have the accelerometer. Over there is your weapons, position, lap. That exclamation point is if there's damage to your car. And I love how if I turn my head, it turns it into mirrors. Hold down the weapon button to activate the crosshair. Move your head. and it, It's teaching you how to use the weapons. Uh, so you push the A button, which you get the crosshair. And the crosshair follows where you're looking. So you can aim, which is awesome. And then you like go to fire. I, I like that mechanic. That is a good mechanic. I really love how that's doing that. And... The Oculus... Oh, I'll get to that later. Ooh. I'll get to my appearance later. But I love how, as I move my head, it moves in the mirror. That's great. Oh, that is a great thing. Uh, and if I steer... And that honking... That's just horns. Whee! Oh, I missed my boost there. Hi! Disco Steve? Okay. So now we have weapons and boost and such. Whoop. And I'm paying attention to talking and not racing, which I, well, we would want that, wouldn't we? Can I fire backwards? I don't want to look backwards to find out, though. Oh, oh I can't turn around hard enough. Okay. I have no idea if I can fire backwards. I can't turn around hard enough. Oh. Wow. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Ooh. It reset me automatically. Oh, you bastards. You're all assholes. You know that? Every single last one of you are assholes. Okay, so... Hello. Alright, so, yeah, that was a tutorial race that doesn't really mean anything, which is fine. And, uh, it's... Welcome back. I think you're ready for the full VR Karts experience now. I've unlocked some new features, so have a look around your trailer and check them out. There we go. If you get lost, you can look at the tablet on your lap. It will tell you everything you need to know. Now let's race! Yay, and now the tablet changes to online scoreboards, which has a grand spanking total of six people um, that I can't do anything with, at least as far as I know. I, I, I push buttons, nothing happens. 23.39, is that the accurate time? That is the accurate time, holy crap. Okay, yes, it's 11.30 at night here. Uh, okay, so over here is player customization. So we can change colors. So there's, you know, two helmet colors, two racer colors. So helmet, racer, cart. So that kind of thing. Uh, and then a boost trail. So when I floor it, that's what color comes out the back. And I still love how it's keeping track of where I'm moving. I love it. All right. And uh, let's see. Our button, different helmets, which I don't think exist yet. Uh, visors, which I have the... Oculus Rift headset, but I don't need to, uh, and then horns that I could choose from. Now, you saw bought items go here. Now, you might think, microtransactions, shit. Uh, I don't think so. I haven't heard, I haven't seen any, like, uh, I don't know, anything that really suggests that they're going that way. 
And uh, this, what I'm seeing here, would suggest that they're not. So these VK coins, you probably get from winning the uh, cups and such. So, uh, you know, everything's free right now. Did I mention this game's in early access? I don't think I've, I, I think I forgot to mention that. This game is in early access, so everything's, they're still working on everything. And uh, so right now, I don't think coins are implemented, so everything's free. <laughs> so you can get head stuff. Uh, I leave that as none. Uh, this is where I got the Oculus headset. Boop, is a visor, so I can get hypnotic eyes or sunglasses, which kind of defeats the purpose when I have tinted visor. Uh, and then different horns. So all the horns that you heard on the course. Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, yeah, so I don't want the Oculus Rift. I'm actually going to take that off because that's screwing with me. Uh, and let's see if it actually takes it off this time. It didn't take it off last time. So I want none. So, yeah, save and quit. All right. So quick race, quick race is just quick race oh the credits neat anyways yeah quick race is just quick race you select it you select uh the two areas that they have available right now so castle islands has a whole bunch of different race tracks and temple beach had one where'd it go oh yeah there it goes beach blast so it has one then we have online multiplayer which i'll get to later we have championship mode, which is pretty much exactly what you expect. It's the quick race, all the races, it scores points, you win, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. And then over here we have options. And down here we have the tablet that's supposed to tell me everything I need to know, yet doesn't tell me anything useful. Hmm. So let's take a look at some more, some actual races. Uh, let's see. I think I've played all of these but let's do that one. Why not? I don't know why. See the purple interference on your dashboard? Steer the opposite way. This thing loads too quick. I can't read those. The Oculus is still on my head, by the way. If you hit the accelerate... Hey, go away. If you hit accelerate at the same exact time as the light turns green, you get a boost. So it's kind of like Mario Kart, except in Mario Kart you had to build up to it. So you would accelerate on... Yep, got it. Whoa, mine. Hi, bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing as dramatic as Mario Kart when you hit somebody. Um, what in the shit? Oh, this is that B thing. Oh, I saw that before. Um, there are all kinds of different power-ups, and it's just, has a lot, a lot of potential, to say the least, for a really good competitive game. What do I got? What do I got? That's the beehive thing. How does this work? Apparently it works that way. Ooh, that's another power-up. Don't touch the skull and crossbones. Obviously, that's probably kind of obvious. Woo! Oh, okay, they changed back. Uh, mines. Do I have anybody behind me? Boop. Oh, missed. Damn. I'm looking in my rearview mirror at the same time I'm trying to play this. Um. Whee! I do kind of miss. Damn it. So I got hit by a rocket, and they seem to affect me a little bit harsher than they affect other players. Um, I have to slow down to almost nothing. They just slow down a little bit. I don't know if that's just perspective or if that's actually a thing. I don't know. Uh, mines, dump that. I don't... I don't really strategize for that kind of thing. For mines or, you know, trap placements or anything like that. I just kind of just throw everything out as I get them. If I can keep track of which buttons are which. The A button's now the 
you know, deploy weapon button now, and it used to be right bumper, and I wasn't doing good with it. So I tried changing it. So far, I'm a little better with it, but whatever. So, yeah, this is pretty much it for the game right now. Woo! Whee! But I love the drifting mechanic. The drifting around corners, I love that. Especially in first-person view. That's just great. I love it. And then there's this. This is uh, the leaderboard. So, right now there's nobody there. Oh! Was it waiting for people to finish? Was I that far ahead from people? I wonder if that's what was going on. It was waiting for others... Waiting for the AI to finish. That's interesting. I like that. Okay, so championship mode. Oh, I probably can't pick anything, and I don't want to do a full championship. Let's take a look at Temple Beach next, the Beach Blast, real quick. Oh, I totally forgot that. The TV shows the highlights of the race. Um, I'll try to remember to do that after I beat this race. I really do enjoy this. This is a fun little game. And the sounds. This is the first time I'm actually playing it on headphones, so the sounds are a little different from what I'm used to. So, whoa, tree. Okay, not a tree. <laughs> that was slightly unexpected. Uh, oh. Wee. Okay, so... I don't know how to dis... I... I really don't know what to say. This is a pretty good game. I just enjoy the hell out of it. And I think once it gets developed further, it's going to be an absolutely amazing game. Whee. Yes, I know it's a... basically a clone of Mario Kart. But hey, those can be fun. I mean, I, I saw a Gary's Mod one that looked fun as hell. I also saw a Hello Kitty one that was garbage. So, yeah. Take that what it as it is. Whee! Oh, yeah, right. They've got to figure out lighting. And the headlights, one, they're worthless right now. And two, they're actually kind of annoying. Because they'll flip on and on constantly as you're going in and out of dark environments and they click every time they do so it's just really annoying so going under this here lights on lights off lights on lights off lights on lights off and they click every time and it's really annoying Woo. but like the yeah they gotta work on the brightness they gotta turn down the brightness, like, severely. Am I still waiting? Sometimes they pop up, sometimes they don't. Like, that was the second place person. Take VR carts on the move with... Oh, yeah, it's... This game's on Gear VR as well. So, yeah. So, yeah, you can look at your race highlights of... Uh, yeah. Yeah, they gotta work on contrast, like, seriously. You can't tell what some of these things are because they're just solid white. But again, early access game. But still pretty cool. Uh, what else is there to look at? Well, there's only one thing left to look at, and that's online multiplayer. So let's take a look at online multiplayer. Searching for players. Yeah, you remember how there were uh, six names on the online leaderboard? Yeah, th this does not have that great of a following. <laughs> um, I wanted to play against real people, but there's just nobody here. And it's kind of sad. It has a lot of potential. Uh, again, I'm, I really do think this game is really fun, really good. 
And I like how it kept my red suit, even though it made me do the tutorial again. And I can't get rid of the Oculus on my face. I don't get it. But, yeah. Um, alright, so let's get out of here. Confirm to quit. <sighs> yeah, because there's that many people playing online. That's it. Yeah, so... I don't know, it's a fun game, hell of a lot of potential. Alright, so final thoughts on VR Cart. Uh, let's do what we did in the last game. So, for Incel, I gave gameplay. Without VR, without the VR experience, just the gameplay, I gave it a 2 out of 10. And that was because it wasn't really diverse, there wasn't really much to it. Uh, VR Cart, if we're going to go with 2 within Cell, then I would have to give VR Cart a 5. Yeah, a 5. Because it has a lot more gameplay to it. You have a lot more control. You have a hell of a lot more control over your forward momentum. So how you steer, how you accelerate, how you uh, turbo, that kind of thing, all plays into it. You have the weapons that actually do things. You have the speed boosts. And so, yes, it's still a Mario Kart clone. So it's not spectacular. It's good, not great. So I give it a nice solid five. But it earned that five. And it has a hell of a lot of potential to go way the hell up. So I'm giving it a little bit of time. Uh, so what was next? Then the VR experience itself. So I gave what Incel like an eight for VR experience because um, it did it. That's what made that game. This one, the VR is a nice addition and it's useful and it's it was done very well. It was nice and smooth and you know I didn't see any jitters or anything like that except for the you know main menu. The tablet was shaking. It's like the racer that was holding it was shivering or terrified or something. I don't, I don't know. It was just that was weird, but it was something with the model in the game. It wasn't something with the Oculus. So they did the VR very good. I like it. I love how they integrated the VR movement with the player head, so you could see it in the mirror. I love that, and. Using the the VR headset to aim was really cool as well. You can pick and choose who you want to attack instead of like in Mario Kart where you have a red shell and you throw it and it always hits the person in front of you. Next spot up in front of you. If there's two people in front of you, you can aim for the person in front of this, the, the person that's in front of you. I like that. That's a cool idea. So, but it doesn't really, like add that much to the game. There's a lot of really nice ideas, but it doesn't really add that much to the game. It's probably because of the genre of the game. So I have to give it a solid five. It doesn't add that much to the game. It adds a little bit to the game, but it doesn't add that much to the game. So got to give it a five there. Now, as for comfort level, and if we remember comfort level is 10, no motion sickness, no discomfort whatsoever. One is, I'm nauseous. And zero is, grab a fucking bucket right fucking now. And we gave, what, incel a seven? Because it would make my stomach lurch. This one, after playing it for a little while, I got sick. And I felt it for a while after playing. I feel a little mm, right now. And as you can tell, I'm not wearing the bloody thing. So I can't give it a 7, obviously, so I think I have to give it a 5. So 5's across the board. It's a very good game. I like it. Not spectacular, but good. Very solid good. And this is going into the list of potential display games that I'm going to give to anybody who wants to try the Oculus at my displays so they can try their hand at VR cart and see how they like it. So, 
Till the next episode, I'll say to you guys as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And hey, this one didn't crash on me while I was recording. <laughs>